are going to the pumpkin patch. I'm so excited. This is our favorite day of the year. It's a little toasty today. I am dressed as fall. I'm trying to manifest the fall weather, but I don't mind sweating a little bit just to be able to wear this sweater and feel all the fall vibes at the pumpkin patch. But uh, we're on the way there now, so I'm super excited. It is a little bit different this year just with everything going on. They're taking different precautions. So like the hay ride that we normally can go on, it's a drive through now. So you just drive through it with your car. And I think the pumpkin area is a tiny bit smaller just to... I really don't know why it's smaller, but um, this year we're actually going to the sunflower field the same day because it's right behind the pumpkin patch. They kind of go together, so a little different this year, but I'm excited. Cooper's excited. Woo! Woo! <laughs> so let's go ahead, let's head to the pumpkin patch. just paid to go through the hayride. It was $10 to do a drive through Halloween trail, corn maze, sunflower field, and pick out a pumpkin, which obviously you gotta pay for the pumpkin, but uh, we're starting on the drive through what's it called? What are they called? drive through Halloween trail. So let's get going. They don't have the petting zoo, which is kind of disappointing. Oh, they don't. But that's okay, you know? Animals are usually scared of Michaela anyway. Hey, I made a goat friend last year. His name was Fred. Miss Fred, Fred left you. Whatever. <laughs> I guess the corn maze is this way, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so over here, our little farm kind of does everything. So over here, that white tent, that's where Fright Night is. And it's basically a bunch of different attractions. So there's like, there's like a haunted house. There's uh, like one that you walk through and there's different actors, like they chase you and stuff. They can't touch you, but they can chase you. <laughs> it's a fun time. Have you ever been? Yes. You did? That's right, I remember you telling me that you did. But we've never been together. So maybe this will be the first year we can actually go together. Hit, hit. Okay. Let's go to the corn maze. <laughs> is the memorial for the owner of this plantation that we're at now. He passed away earlier this year. This is him with Ryan Seacrest, which is pretty cool. And then Darius Rucker, who's actually local here. My dad actually went to high school with him. So, and they made the corn maze. I don't know if you can see up there. They made it shaped like his face, which is pretty cool. <laughs>
known for my directional skills. Do you know where we're going? Um, somewhere, anywhere. We found a snack. We've been out here for hours. You gonna eat it? Ah! Rude. Stop! Hey, why don't you ever tell secrets in a cornfield? I don't know. Because the corns have ears. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> flower field we found a little buddy to take home and then now we're gonna head over to the pumpkin part right after we buy this little guy so let's head over I think that I'm going to hiding somewhere by a gate star baby they ain't never gonna find me I'm a renegade oh. I could be the one who saved you from this hard place We could be as one and we'll escape We could run away, we don't gotta stay I can feel that it burns inside me Take away the pain, we can go insane I can feel that it burns inside me We could run away, we don't gotta stay I can feel that it burns inside me Take away the pain, we can go insane Trust me, I won't let you down so much fun it was a lot smaller than normal but it was still super enjoyable and I'm so glad that we got to go and continue our tradition how, how did you, did oh, you yeah. like it? yeah definitely not a fan of COVID pumpkin patch though yeah no they definitely they downsized it I'm just grateful that they did it at all, did it at all but it uh, for sure limited the normal experience of going there but it was fun and we don't normally get to go to the sunflower fields whenever we go so that was kind of a good little change but um, now we're actually headed to Trader Joe's and I did bring a change of clothes into a t-shirt and shorts and that is exactly what I'm about to change into because I am dripping <laughs> it's 86 degrees I that's not what the weather told me it was gonna be today but I guess they can only predict so much so I'm gonna change into that and then we'll see you in Trader Joe's Back home. 
took me by Starbucks. This is a venti iced pumpkin spice latte with no whipped cream because I do not like whipped cream for whatever reason. Uh, I think it's just the texture, but uh, these are always a little treat that we get whenever we leave the pumpkin patch every year. So of course we had to continue the tradition and stop by. And the first thing that I did whenever we got home was fill up this little mason jar base that we have with some water and put our little friend in there. And he's just chilling. So his leaves started to wilt too right after we picked him, probably like 10 minutes after. So hopefully we'll get some sun. It is actually kind of cloudy outside. It looks like it's going to rain. So, but we'll see how long we can keep him alive. But I'm just going to keep him in the background so that he can just chill along with us. <laughs> <laughs> and we did go to Trader Joe's. I did not film really anything in there because it was insane. I don't, that's the only one that we have in our area. And I don't know if it's the only one that's in our state, but it is absolutely always jam packed. Like it is so hectic going in there. It's hard to navigate through the aisles because there's so many people. And it is a Friday afternoon, so I guess it's just the start of their weekend, which I'm sure are the busiest. We don't go too often because it is a little bit out of our way, but of course with the fall time and all the fall treats that they get, we had to make a stop by there because it was pretty close to the pumpkin patch. So but I'm gonna show you guys what we got. And um, I'm gonna try and make a trip back there before October is over with, just to see if they get any more fall things in. They didn't have as much as I thought that they would, but I'm wondering if they'll like just get more as October goes on, or maybe I just missed it completely. I don't know, <laughs> we'll find out, but. Let's go ahead and let's get into the goodies that we got today. I'm gonna start with the frozen stuff because it is thawing out. So we got some mandarin orange chicken and I think you just put this in the um, on the stove and it cooks pretty quickly. We had these a while back and we saw them again and had to get them. It's roasted potatoes with peppers and onions. We live off of potatoes. We love potatoes. It's, it's like our favorite food. <laughs> so we had to grab a bag of these. I think you just put these in the, you can either put them in the microwave or on the stove. I might put them in the oven, honestly, just to get them crispy. Now into the fall goodies. They had a bunch of small pumpkins outside of the store, which I did get a little bit of B-roll of that. So we got one little orange one and I had to grab this one cause he's just, he's perfect. Like there's, this is probably the most perfect pumpkin that I've seen all season and he's adorable. <laughs> and I also picked up a little tiny white one so, yeah, they're super cute. I have to find a spot to put these now. <laughs> and then I saw the pumpkin flavored JoJo's and they're basically like Oreos, but they're pumpkin flavored. And I had them last year and they tasted so good. So I went ahead and snagged a box. <laughs> and then I grabbed a can of organic pumpkin because I only had one more can left here. So I just figured we're, we're already there. So I may as well just grab it, right? <laughs> this I'm so excited about. I grabbed two of these, I had to. <laughs> and it's the fall zucchette pasta. I think it's made out of butternut squash, but it's pasta shaped, or pumpkin shaped pasta. Wait, how cute is that? Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh. Have you ever seen anything so cute? <laughs> we got two bags. <laughs> I had to. <laughs> And then lastly, to go along with that, we had to get the Autumnal Harvest Creamy Pasta Sauce. It's made with pumpkin and butternut squash. All right, you guys, well, that was our little haul from Trader Joe's. Thank you so much for coming along with us today and going on our little hay drive thing <laughs> through the sunflower fields and the pumpkin patch and Trader Joe's. And it was such a blast. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye. Bye.